Hi skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We've got an Elan Ripstick 88 this year, uh, unchanged from last year. <clears throat> Still that lightweight all mountain ski that is just kind of, you know, I, I would say that the 96 is more of the flagship while this is the narrower version, uh, just as quick and light and agile as skis get. Uh, but they do a couple of things to make it stand out. Uh, especially in terms of stability and, st and stiffness, uh, lending to that higher performance level than, than the weight may indicate. Uh, Construction-wise, we have a tube light wood core. So what they do is they got a lightweight wood core and then they mill out sections running through the sides and they put in carbon tubes or carbon rods uh, that run the whole length of the ski kind of inside the sidewall. And what these rods do is that they provide 360 degrees of responsiveness. You can feel it. It does make a difference, especially versus a carbon stringer. Um, they are on the flexible side. So skiers who are lighter and less aggressive are going to get a lot of performance out of these. Um, you know, I'm 220 pounds. I'm on the top end of the size and aggressiveness uh, spectrum to really be at home on something like this, even in a 188. Um, I can feel uh, the shovel a little bit flexible, but lighter skiers and less aggressive skiers will really like the feeling of those carbon tubes in there. They also stiffen it up by using their carbon line technology. So they're able to put more uh, structure and more material on the inside edges of the skis. They are right left specific, so they can asymmetrically construct them. So this section here is another strip of carbon that runs along the inside edge of your downhill ski. So this is a left ski. So when you put it on edge, you get that extra carbon over the edge, giving you better grip, better torsional stiffness, adding to the performance of the ski. They do the same thing with the rocker profile. So they use an, their amphibio rocker profile, which on the inside of the edge here on the carbon side, there's more uh, camber, and then on the outside, there's more rocker. So it's more of a side-to-side -side camber profile versus, um, you know, just splay at the tip and the tail. And what that does is it makes the transition between the turns a lot more seamless. You can really tell in softer snow, they are not hooky or catchy at all. Um, and then on the firmer snow, it does help with that transition from one edge to the other. So by you know, having this asymmetric ski, they're able to be a lot more creative with the construction. There is still some regular tip and tail rocker and a little bit spoonier of a tip shape than we see in a lot of other 88s. So this is one of the better floaters of the group. So in that, uh, at that taper point is where the rocker starts here. And then in the tail, you know, it's a little bit on the longer side, but not too bad for an 88. Really playful, nice, easy finish to the turn there. And skier type, you know, like I said, um, you can really be a, a lot, you know, there's a lot of different levels of skiers that will find a home on this ski. Um, you know, if you're an intermediate advanced skier looking for more confidence, bumps and trees, lightweight turning on groomers, this is a great option. Uh, lighter experts who are looking for kind of a, a more flexible option um, will really gravitate towards this. Um, you know, if you're on the heavier end of the spectrum, more aggressive, you might feel the, the lighter tips uh, flap a little in the breeze. But overall, it's a very well composed ski. And that's really just at top speeds, firm snow, stuff like that, that you'll feel that. Overall, when you're on edge on this ski, it's very compliant and very poised. Uh, but that's it. That's the Elan Ripstick 88 coming back again for 2022. Uh, check this thing out at SkiEssentials.com. Uh, just a wonderful, well-rounded all-mountain ski. We'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.